Hello friends, welcome back to Mudstack. And we are running a series of sessions where we are integrating external identity provider with AnyPoint platform. And we know that AnyPoint platform supports now multiple uh, you know, um, integration with the external identity provider. And there are different protocols. We can use OpenID Connect, we can use SAML. So in previous sessions, we have used SAML. Now in this session, I'm going to show you how we can integrate our uh, you know, external identity provider via open ID connect. Okay, so if you have seen the multiple vendors are there like Okta, Salesforce, OpenAM. So they allow us to, you know, configure any point platform SSO with open ID connect. Okay, so uh, in this session, I'm going to show you how we can integrate Okta with, uh, with the help of open ID connect. And we'll see how we can authorize or how we can log into any point platform via open ID connect. Okay, so let's jump on to our, our AnyPoint platform first and I'll show you what is the status of my AnyPoint platform, you know, after the uh, previous sessions, okay. So in this session, let's go ahead and let me jump on to my AnyPoint platform. So if I log into my AnyPoint platform, so if I use the same URL, which I have used for last session, so this is directly giving option to what all, you know, login, options available for me. So in the previous two sessions, we have implemented uh, SAML based authentication, which is via Okta and Azure AD. Now, let me first log in via my platform credentials. So I'll go directly log in via my platform credentials. Now, I'll go to access management and let's go to the identity provider. Here you can see that Right now, there are two ID providers already there, and those are SAML 2.0 based. Okay, so now we are going to configure or integrate via Open ID Connect. So let's see how we can do that. So let's keep this page as it is. First, let's go to our uh, Okta and log into our Okta portal. Okay, so let's go ahead here. First, we need to create, once you log into your Okta, first, we need to create the auth server. Okay, so let's go to our security section and inside the security section, go to API section. First, let's create. So we have a default auth server over there. Let's go ahead and edit it. So, yeah, so you keep default stuff over here. We don't need to change anything, but we need to get some information from here. Okay, so click this auth server. Either we can use this URL, this URL, or we can build one more very important URL. I'll just show you that. So this URL also will give the metadata about our auth server, or we can use the you know open ID hyphen configuration this URL. Okay. So either of this URL we can use, and we see there is a little difference between the you know metadata what we get from this URL and what we get it from this URL. Okay, so let's go ahead and first get the metadata about our auth version server. Okay, so let's copy this URL first and go to our browser. Okay, so get this metadata, copy it, go to your notepad, control V, and maybe you can, if you have notepad plus plus plugin then you can go ahead and format this json okay so here you'll find all the urls which we need it okay or other other url you can use to get the metadata which is this one okay this also useful but this gives you more information so i used it okay so let's go ahead and We'll be interested in all these URLs while configuring any point platform open ID. Okay, so we'll keep this as it is here. Let's go back to our Okta portal. So let me close this now. I don't need this. I open it for previous. Okay, so let's go back here. So now you don't need to change anything here, just keep as it is. Let's go back to our application and now we'll create application for of type open ID, okay? So now let's go ahead and say create app integration. 
Now this time we'll use open ID connect, okay, which is token based operation. Now application type will select web application. So this will be a server side application where authentication and tokens are handled. Now say next. Okay, give a proper name here. So I'll give a control A. Let's give a name open ID platform. And here we'll say any point platform. We'll say open ID connect. Okay. Again, here you can pass the logo if you have, you can upload the logo. And we'll do a client ID credentials. Okay, grant type. Now here we'll right now we'll pass some dummy url so let's go ahead and copy some dummy url i have that on my notepad so i'll just take this dummy url for now later we'll update it okay so i'll leave that dummy url here that is our login redirect url okay so, Uh, right now, we'll select the first option where we say that all, uh, you know, everyone from the organization have access. Let's save it. Okay, so we'll get client ID and client secret. Copy this client ID and client secret over here on our notepad. So this is our client ID. Copy our client secret. And let's go ahead. So yeah, we are going to change this URL after our any point platform setup. Okay. So that's all in the Okta setup. Let's go ahead and log into our any point platform where we are logged in now. So here we'll give a proper name. So let me give a name open ID connect Okta. Then registration URL. So the configuration which we have copied from our metadata URL. So this is our so registration endpoint. That's what we want. Registration endpoint, client registration. So this is the URL for the registration. Copy it, paste it here. And then authorization URL, get the authorization URL. That is our this URL. Copy it, control C, paste it here. Now that is issuer URL. Control V, issuer URL is this one, which is our default author, auth server. Control C, control V here. Then we need token, token URL, copy it. Just here. Then we have user info URL. Go ahead and paste it here. Now, right now we don't need to pass a group scope and all these things. Now we need to do manual registration. Okay, so go ahead and add your client ID. Just now we have copied it in our scope. I have copied it right place. Yeah, this one. So this is a client ID of application which we have created inside the Okta. Okay, and this one is the client secret. Okay. So now let's go ahead and say save changes. Okay, save changes. So we'll get now a URL. So this open ID connect Okta, and this URL will be will be updating inside our Okta here. Okay, so let's go ahead and say edit. So no changes other than this. Let me say remove it and control V tab. And here also and the save. Okay. Okay, so that's all that we want. Let me cross check again. Everything's fine. Yep, it's 
it's properly coming now. Okay, let's go ahead now to our any point platform and save the changes, everything is saved. Now take this URL and try to log in. Okay, so first log off from here. Okay. Go here. Trigger this. Now see, there is a third option available now, which is continue with open ID connect opt up. Okay, so let me go ahead and select this option. So now you can see that it's logging in via Okta, OpenID Connect, and you are able to see the user logged in successfully. And this guy right now doesn't have any permissions. We can cross check that also. See here, there is no permission, okay? Now, we know how to assign the permissions, okay? In previous session, I, have, I already did that. Okay, so I recommend to go through those sessions and then come back to this session. Okay. And we can go ahead and log off from here and we can cross check other options, other signing options also. Whether I mean just need to cross check after you know integrating this via open ID connect. Is there any change on other options? Whether we are able to log in via that. Okay, not this account. I need to go to my, and just try the other option. Okay, so I'll just try this option. Via this, also I'm able to access, okay? So I gave this user some permission. So now see that in the previous session, we have given the permission to this user. See, this user is able to access, okay? So that's all from this session where we have integrated our Okta via OpenID, step by step. Okay, and hope you liked it. So please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so that you'll get, you know, notification for the new uploaded video. Thank you.